If all you do is get married and raise children, it will be a waste of your intelligence and gifts. Those are the words of my high school English teacher to me when I told her I didn't want to go to college because I wanted to be a traditional woman. By traditional woman, I mean a woman in a role that is, you know, historically traditional, like, you know, I wanted to get married and raise children, and that was my, you know, my life goal. That is what I wanted for my life. I was not interested in going to college for four years. I could not think of another job that would fulfill me as much as I thought raising children and being married and as much as I thought that that would serve me and that would um, fulfill me. So I really, even at that age, had a call in my life to live, um, you know, in a traditional woman's role. And what I have to say as well, Mrs. English teacher, I wasted it. I wasted my intelligence, I wasted my gifts, and I chose to get married at a young age. I chose to have babies at a young age. And I have dedicated my life to my husband and to raising my children. And I did go to cosmetology school and become, you know, a cosmetologist. So I have worked behind the chair as a barber and a cosmetologist for 19 years. I did that before I had children and since I've had children. That job, um, I have loved very much and it is easy to work into you know family life and your schedule this hair today so that I have I do work outside the home but um, at the age of 17 for me to hear that from you know a professional woman a woman that you know worked and I I love that women work I love women that you know have a calling to do whatever they want to do I think you know in our current culture and our the way things are for women right now you can and we can do whatever we want you know we can have whatever job we want I just you know hearing that from her was really discouraging and I know what her intention was. I know that she wanted for me to go to college. I know that she wanted me to use my intelligence and my giftings to, you know, better myself um, and to educate myself and go above what I thought was what I wanted. But um, the way it came off, all it did is lit a fire under me to just push harder to fulfill what my dream was for my life. Um, I am very thankful that I wasted my intelligence on my children because, you know, being a mother has been one of the hardest and most fulfilling jobs that I could have ever had. Um, I can't think of another job for me or another task or another life that I could have had that would have fulfilled me more. Um, so if that's a waste of my intelligence, then I wasted it. I'm very, very thankful that I chose this life. I, um, I think if I would have been unable to have children, I probably would have ended up, you know, doing missions with, you know, lost children, you know, orphan children, that sort of thing. But I was very blessed with three children, so I am, you know, still currently raising them. I'm on the back end of it now. My teenagers are getting older and older. And I can say that I do not feel like it was a waste. Definitely not. And, you know, as a 17-year-old, the first thing I thought when she said that to me was, Dear God, I hope this woman doesn't have children. Because to have that thought, to think that raising up the next generation of humans, the next generation of adults, is a waste of someone's intelligence. That just hurt my heart so much because, you know, these precious babies and these children and these teenagers, they need people in their lives to put in their intelligence, to put in their giftings into them and teach them and raise them up to be good humans. 
So I don't feel like it's a waste in any, you know, at, at 17, I didn't feel like it was a waste. And still to this day, I think, what in the world was she talking about? And what is wrong with a girl wanting to be a traditional woman? You know, what is wrong with our culture that we think that wanting to be in a traditional role as a woman is something that's wasteful or shameful? You know, for me, I, I love my femininity. I love my womanhood. I think that, you know, taking care of my home and my family and, you know, my, my yard and the way I put myself together, you know, I love my sequin top and I love my mascara and my makeup and I love to look beautiful. And I don't feel like it's something that I have to do. It's something I want to do. You know, I feel very powerful in my femininity and I feel very powerful as a mother and as a wife. And I feel like I, I, you know, I have filled that role as best I could. And I feel like we as women need to decide for ourselves what it is that we want and not think about, you know, what someone else will think of your choices. You know, if in your heart you want to go to college and you want to make a career for yourself and you still want to have a family, you need to do that and push forward and do it. You know, it's that I, I, I don't even know how hard that must be. I can't imagine. I mean, being a mom, being a mom that just works part time is hard enough. I can't imagine working full time and having this beautiful career and then also having a family on top of that, that you need to put your heart into both things. Um, I know for myself that I wouldn't have been able to do that, that I would have been sacrificing either my family or my career. I could not have put my heart fully into both things. So I just want us to think about being careful with our words when we're speaking to young people. I'm trying to figure out how to get out of that sun. The sun moved on me. Think about our words when we're speaking to young people. You know, young people, everybody has dreams, but you know, young people have really big dreams and we need to speak in a way that is encouraging to them. We need to speak in a way that is empowering to them. You know, I think, I don't think there would have been anything that this teacher could have said to me that would have changed my mind. Um, I still wasn't going to college. I was still bound and determined to become a wife and a mother. And I didn't even have a husband picked out yet at that point. I just knew that that was my calling and that was what I was to do with my life. And I just had to wait for God to let make that happen, you know, bring the right man along for me. And, um, and he did. So, but I, I know we have to encourage the young people. They are not a waste of our intelligence. They are not a waste of our gifting. They need us. There are so many lost children out there. <clears throat> there's so many, you know, broken families and there's so many kids that are just floating around and they don't have anyone to speak into them. So, you know, when they share your, their ideas and their things, even if you feel like it's foolish or maybe not the right decision, you just have to speak into the things that are good. So be careful with your words with the young ones and the older ones because some of us are still figuring things out. You know, I still have some dreams that are unfulfilled that are definitely for after my children are... Um, grown and don't need me quite as much so some of us older ones have some dreams and we need speaking into as well I hope that made sense I just remembered you know that woman saying that to me when I was a young girl and I just wanted to share my thoughts about it and if you are a feminine woman and I'm sorry guys that are watching this this doesn't have anything to do with you apparently today but, you know, be strong in your femininity. There is nothing wrong with being feminine. I, I think women are so powerful. I think um, if you like to look beautiful and be, you know, strong in that, uh, wear your mascara like armor. That's how I always feel. I put, my, I put my makeup on and I get dressed beautiful and I feel like I'm putting on my armor for the day and I feel strong and I feel fierce and I love it. So have a good week, guys. Thanks for